Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's the 16th of spring and uh, we are currently sitting at 14,814 gold. We're in good humour today, which is nice. The reason I bring up how much gold we have is because I believe we're just on the cusp of being able to afford to finish off the vault bundles uh, in the community centre, which should unlock the desert. I'm not sure when exactly that happens, but I'd like to get it done as soon as possible, if possible. And uh, mm, I don't know if I have time to be sorting out the farm today if I want to make the best of going to the desert. The main reason I want to go to the desert is so that we can unlock the skull cabin and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully find some iridium in there which we can then use to make some more iridium sprinklers and actually afford to kind of get a few more crops going on the farm. Potatoes. Eight gold star potatoes. Okay, that's got to be worth a nice amount. Uh, I'm going to... Hmm, actually, I could... No, I'll ship them. I'll ship them. But I'll, I'll keep the truffle oil just so we can sell it off. And push ourselves over that 15k mark. It might not have been a 15k bundle. It might have been. A, it might not have been a 10k and a 5k bundle. It might have actually been 10k and 7.5k, 7 which means we're about 2,500 gold short. But I think overall we should be okay with that. Um, I've got a lot of stuff here that I don't really need. Alright, so I'll sell off some of it. Some of it. Alright, so let's get rid of the... Might as well keep those potatoes so that we can use them for recipes. Um, yeah, we'll drop them off. Open this up, drop off the... Probably not the salmon berries, because we're just going to end up getting more of those. Possibly the wool. Probably the solar essence, actually. We don't need to be carrying that around. And... I guess we might as well pick up a few more crops. Okay. Alright, so space is proving to be a massive issue right now. Just trying to think how I can clean up some of that space. Maybe by dropping off the potatoes, giving the void essence to the wizard, and giving a parsnip out as well. I think I think Pam really likes parsnips, so maybe we can try and track her down a bit. Yeah, because otherwise space is going to be a massive issue, particularly if we do... Actually, we won't be going to the desert today anyway, because the Junimos do their work overnight, so... Can't actually do anything with that anyway. But still, we can at least unlock it, and we should be able to do it in the... Uh, go to the desert in the second day of this episode. Alright, so looks like we've got just enough space for... Uh, there's a lot of salmon berries here, so we'll pick those up. there, a couple more there. Dandelion, could use that. I think dandelions are useful for salads. Still not particularly sure I want to be carrying that around if I'm already so strapped for inventory slots. Alright, so I think the townsfolk actually change their uh, change their activities a little bit when it's raining, so it might be a bit harder to find people. Is Shane? He's still being rude to me even after I gave him a gift he actually liked yesterday. Um, screw it though, we might as well not be picky with who we're going to make friends with. <laughs> now he's nice to me. Uh, I don't know why people... Oh wow, it's, uh, it's still too early to open that. I don't know why people actually like Shane so much. Like, it's, he's so unlikable. I mean, I guess he probably warms to you later on, but... can't really forgive him for just being such a massive douche nugget so early on in the game. Alright, so this is about to open. As uh, Abigail is in, which is good. Should be able to give her this amethyst. And sell the truffle oil, perfect. So that should, I think that should push us over the edge of what we need. Not worth selling the salmon berries. Apricots, could sell those, probably not worth it either. And... Could sell the wool. Again though, I think it's going to be more useful just to save those for uh, any potential loom so that we can make some cloth. Give Abigail the Amethyst, who should clean up another slot of the inventory. Perfect. Cool. Starting to make good friends with people now. I think really, really, the last few episodes, with the kind of change in the gift-giving strategy, it's really kind of stepped up the friendship stuff. I feel like, yeah, well, there's no one in town that we're not on at least one heart with, and there are several people who are really starting to climb pretty quickly. Which is especially nice, considering that most of them, it wasn't actually their birthday recently. It was Haley's birthday recently, but... Most of them, I think, are just generally from giving them gifts they like. Cool. 
Wild horse radish in the forest. That's actually quite interesting. If horse radish is actually more likely to spawn in the forest, then I probably want to be going over there and trying that out so that we can get some more gifts that we know Krobus likes. Krobus loves his wild horse radish for some reason. Anyone else in town? Looks like most people are just kind of staying tight in their houses to avoid the rain. With the mare. Some apricot. And uh, since we can't actually go to the desert today, there's not too much that we need to do that's actually important. I'm just going to see if we can find Pam in her trailer. Yes, okay. Alright, we'll give her a parsnip. One thing I should have done actually is buy a few more seeds because uh, we do have some space for those right now. Uh, have we already given... We don't have any tulips to give to Evelyn anyway. Oh yeah, we've given her two gifts this week. Marnie, we've not given anything. Leah, we've not given anything. It seems to me that we need to start taking the other route into town through the uh, through Cindersap Forest so that we can actually meet Marnie and Leah a bit more often. But yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go finish off these bundles. I hope we can finish them off. I think we can. And that should unlock a couple of uh, rewards as well, which is pretty useful. Cool. Okay, pick up these salmon berries. Highly doubt we're going to be able to turn all of these into wine, but can be optimistic enough to dream that that might be possible at some point. I want to actually check the bulletin board because that would help us make friendships even faster. And obviously the friendship board is more efficient the earlier on in the game you use it uh, when you get the friendship reward because at some point you're going to max out friendships, so yeah, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> Yeah, at some point you're going to max out your friendships, and at that point getting bonus friendship points isn't going to help you very much, so probably worth trying to finish off this bulletin board as soon as possible. So let's see what we need for that. Chef's bundle, we need fiddlehead fern, which we can only get in the summer. Maple syrup, which we should have available. Mackie roll. And fried egg, we have a fried egg now. Okay, so that's one. Surprise the chef's bundle doesn't require you to cook a few more things that are a little bit more difficult than that stuff. But yeah, fiddlehead fern, maple syrup. And Mackie Roll, those should all be pretty doable. Fodder Bundle, Apple, we need to wait till the fall for that. Chanter's Bundle, Oak Resin, Wine, Rabbit's Foot, and Pomegranate, that's all going to be a little bit difficult. Dye Bundle, Red Cabbage, Sea Urchin, we've already done that. Sunflower, okay, so yeah, we definitely need to wait until the fall, but I think, I think if we really aim to get it done as soon as possible, we should be able to get that all done by the fall. Alright, so 5,000, 10,000, perfect, so we can afford all of it. This one creates 30 quality fertilizers, which is actually really nice. That should help us a lot in the next season. I'm thinking if we plant blueberry plants, that should be pretty good for that. And a lightning rod. Okay. It's obviously not worth the money we spent, but um, we have finished off the vault room now, so that's cool. We're happy to help. It's not our house over after all. Oh yeah, they're, uh, they're basically just... Uh, what's the word? What's the word for people who occupy? Looks pretty nice. Um, I can't remember what the word is for that. Strag- no, not stragglers. I don't know. But yeah, it's not their house. <laughs> Are they gonna move out when we finish off the community center? Because that seems kind of sad in a way. Alright, so with the rest of the day, um... I think we need more wood pretty badly. And I also want to plant a few more oak trees at some point, so I think what I might do is kind of work on the farm a little bit. I'll give out a few more gifts, but I think that's the main thing we wanted to do today, just to finish off that vault bundle, and the rest of the day is just going to be fairly basic farm work, and uh, possibly at some point I want to start like planting a kind of forest, so that's going to require me to chop down a lot of the trees that are currently growing on the farm. So yeah, I'll speed this up, and I'll join you guys tonight when we should be, I think, getting ready for going to the desert. Should be pretty exciting.
Okay, so I've decided to take the hit here because uh, I, I wanted to try and maximize my chances of catching an eel. Unfortunately, did not manage to do that, so bit of a bit of a fail. But I did catch a few other fish, so I guess it wasn't a complete fail. Anyway, here we go. The Junimos, apparently experts in bus repair, have fixed up the bus, which is nice. Uh, I'm hoping we can use it straight away from tomorrow, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, got a nice amount of income coming in there, that should at least cover what we've lost for falling asleep at the beach. Kinda sucks to have not caught the eel though, um, I think I did get it on the line at one point, but just wasn't quite able to finish it off. Tomorrow is Pam's birthday, but nothing particularly special going on today, so it should be pretty safe just to move on. Greetings, it's I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook this week's this chocolate cake. What better way to spend these cold winter cold winter nights? Oh, it really is a rerun. Blah, 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 blah. You learned how to cook chocolate cake. Okay, so that's new, so good thing we checked that. Chocolate cake requires wheat flour, sugar, and eggs. That's quite doable. That's very doable. Got loads of eggs, wheat flour, you just buy it. Though I think when patch 1.1 comes out, you'll be able to make it yourself. Still, um... Okay, um, uh, while we're... Well, well, while we're waiting to find out what happens with the... bus... One thing I might do... Hmm. I guess that, uh, Pam has a shift if she does come back to the bus at all. I'm not sure what really happens with that. Alright, so until at least 9-ish, I'm gonna be sorting out some farm stuff, so I'll join you guys in just a sec. Oh wait, hang on. Top secret, here's the recipe for, for my famous blueberry tart. Can't be that famous, I've never heard of it. Don't tell anyone, I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Blueberry tart, okay, thank you very much. Nora, how are you doing? I've enclosed some recipe, uh, some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes, fish taco. And finally, we've been billed 108 gold by Morris. That was quite low. I th I'm hoping that's because we haven't been fined in ages, so maybe, maybe the longer you go without being fined, the less you get charged. I'm not entirely sure. Blueberry tart, blueberry, wheat flour, and egg. Okay, that's doable, but mainly next month. Fish taco, tuna, tortilla, red cabbage, and mayo. That's really difficult. That's, that's quite hard to get. Um, maybe next month, I guess. And anything else particularly noteworthy? I don't think so. I'm just looking if there's anything that requires anchovies specifically, because we have four of those. I feel like there would be, like anchovies are the kind of thing that you would use for a lot of things. Um, can't see anything. Farmer's lunch. I could do that more. Yeah, I could definitely do that more, although, you know, I don't really need farming energy. Oh yeah, I also wore myself out yesterday, so that kind of sucks. I, uh, I need to get all that energy back somehow. Um, I suppose I could eat Roots Plateau if I'm going into the Skull Caverns, yeah. But I think that should work. Alright, okay, so I'll sort out some farm stuff and join you guys in just a sec. Okay, so somehow I annoyingly managed to rename Zoe the Dinosaur as Zoe SD because I was pressing pressing the directional keys as I somehow became able to rename her. That was really annoying, I don't know what's up with that. You don't know how glad I am that the bus is up and running, I feel alive again. Okay, here you go, have a tulip. I've already given her two gifts, okay, fine. Fine. Take daffodils. Take the salmon berries. It's 500 gold to get to the desert, but um, the Coleco Desert it's called. 
but I'm definitely, definitely up for that, no doubt in my mind. Quite excited for this, it's, uh, it's a whole new area of the game, so going to be very good. Alright, off we go. Can't take the horse with us, unfortunately, but I think the desert is fairly small as the <laughs> screen is, the resolution is too small, so I just drove into a black void there, but it looks like I've made it safely to the desert, where we can see there are a few cactuses, cacti, lying around, and I think I saw a coconut too. Uh, I already know who I'm going to find in here. There should be a new character called Sandy, I think. Yes, here we go. Got a cutscene. Ah, a, a customer? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Cool. Wow, that guy looks shady as hell. Okay. <laughs> Please visit again soon. I get bored. I get so bored out here. Have a daffodil. I know you like them. Oh, I, ex I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. That's cool. I believe that you sell a certain type of thing that I would like. Beet seeds. I think that was what it was, or it might have been rhubarb. No, plant those in the fall, okay, those aren't what I want. But rhubarb seeds, definitely. Let's get about... 10 of those. And I don't want to buy anything else because I'm really strapped for inventory slots right now. Let's talk to this guy. Bouncer. I, he won't let me in, okay. <laughs> Screw it. Gonna ignore that for now. And could pick up these cactus fruits. Man, I'm really strapped for inventory slots. I probably shouldn't have just come here with this stuff. Hopefully this won't be something here. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't I was actually hoping it wouldn't be an artifact because I don't have space for those right now at all. Anyhow, is this the skull cavern? Yes it is. You insert the skull key into the keyhole, it's a perfect fit. How am I gonna get destroyed if I go in here? I have a roots platter that I can eat, that should up my combat ability a bit. Oh, there's something else actually. No, screw it, I'll leave it for now, I'll do it the next episode. But I think I should be able to, uh, whoa, look at this thing. 19 damage, wow, okay. It's the first thing that's threatened me in a long time. Void Essence. Okay, so we know that we don't need to kill Shadow Brutes and stuff to get Void Essence. It's good to know. There's a, uh, looks like there's no Iridium right now. A whole bunch of these things. Wow, they uh, they really take a beating. Holy crap. I've actually lost over half my health just trying to fight these. Whoa, okay. Slightly worried. Okay, fine. Just about made it out of that alive. That was extremely difficult. That's like in a whole nother league compared to the uh, compared to the normal mines. Alright, let's, uh, let's host some of this ground up, see if we can get something. Just the usual cave carrots so far from what I can see. Gold ore. I think that's amethyst there as well. Cave carrots. Tulip. I might just eat the tulip. I... yeah. Need to make some space. Uh, I got another daffodil. Oh wow, I got an iridium ore. I didn't see that come in, but yeah, that's really useful. Um, okay, so I'll throw out the pine tar. I really don't think that's going to be worth hanging on to. Daffodils, we should be able to get more of those anyway, and there should be there should be pretty much a plant available every season that Sandy will like, so that's fine. Uh, anchovies, maybe I could get rid of those. Most of this stuff is going to be fairly useful. Put the bait on the rod. Hopefully that will give me just enough space for now. I don't want to I don't want to waste too much time just hoeing up ground. Um, rusty coke, that's you can get that in the mines. It's nothing special. As uh, I can see another one of those horrible flying Rayquaza things over there. Someone in the uh, Study Valley uh, forum pointed out how much these things look like. If you, if you play Pokemon, you might be familiar with Mega Rayquaza. They look extremely similar. Okay, obviously I want to avoid Essence over a Sap. And uh, I think at this point we just need to be looking for a way down to the next level. It's 1pm, I think I probably should have brought myself Perfect. I probably should have brought for my- whoa, look at these things. Mummies. Hmm. Is that dead? Miss? What? Do they not die? Oh, what? They don't die, they just come back. What? How do I deal with that? 
Uh, coal, okay. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go somewhere where I can avoid them, because I don't want to be fighting them forever. There must be some way to kill them, but I don't know what it is. Just want to find the way down. I've got most of the day to look, but... Still... I can't help but feel a little bit strapped for time. If I can find just five iridium ore, that would already feel like a massive success for me, because it would enable us to... Oh my god. Okay, I'm not keen to interact with these mummies if they're just gonna stand there behind that rock. That's fine with me. I didn't check the fortune teller today, so I don't know how likely it is that I'll actually find my way through. Just trying to avoid these mummies. Hopefully it won't be too much longer, they're really starting to follow me around. Let's run away a bit. Maybe, oh there we go, finally, okay. As this floor is not looking much better. In terms of loot, there's an emerald there, that's quite useful, um, but I'm really strapped for slots. Rusty Cog, I don't need that. Uh, if I have to, I could throw away the the salmon berries, but I really think that's not going to be a good idea. I could also eat the sashimi, that might be a good idea. Anchovies, I think I'll hang on to for now. But sashimi is just a useful way of getting a little bit of health back, so I think that's worthwhile. Take the copper ore. And we don't have space for that right now. Um, what could I get rid of? I could get rid of the deluxe speed grow, I suppose. Could also eat the survival burger, although that's best used for a foraging day. Um, fried eggs. I don't know. I'll just keep digging for now. Don't really mind too much not taking that emerald. It's not really that important. I'm... Whoa. Didn't we get those from the mines at one point? Like, I thought they were a one-off. But I guess you can get multiple. Okay, so they're really not having much luck with this so far. I can't really find any particularly great ore veins. Um, I mean, the emerald is definitely worth more than four anchovies, so maybe I should throw those out. Uh, I would throw out the copper ore or something, but we could get more of those later on, so I don't really want to do that. You could also just throw, that out, throw out the sashimi straight away. It's another option. I'll just keep looking until I find a way down for now, and then I'll make my decision. There we go, okay. Uh, yes, I do want the emerald, just for that bit of extra money. So we'll throw out the... Oh man, I feel like the anchovies could be useful for a recipe of some kind. But overall that is fairly niche. Basic fertilizer I probably don't need too much of now that I'm sitting on about 30 quality fertilizer. Yeah, that's great. we'll get rid of the basic fertilizer. And we'll move on. Still not seeing any... Iridium ore. I don't know how rare it's supposed to be, but evidently... I know it gets more common the deeper in you get, but I'm not going to get too deep today. Just because it's not going to be possible. I'm going to grab this, uh, rubies. Copper ore. This looks like I need another slot free. Another emerald, cool. Okay, so it definitely was worth picking that last one up. And, uh, do I want the rubies? Yes, I think I do. I'll eat the sashimis. Um... Yeah, I'll just throw them away, I guess. Just running through this. Ah! Purple mushroom, that's good for health and energy. These fried eggs. Oh yeah, I don't have space for those. I was hoping to find just a, a basic ladder, just that I didn't need to dig for, but I guess that was too much to hope for. Hopefully I'll find one slightly further down. There's another mummy there, so I'll avoid that. And I think the skull caverns, they're not like the mines in that, yeah, when you get through five floors, it doesn't really help you. It doesn't really change anything for the better. God, they do a lot. Holy crap. I've already lost most of my health, just from that three hits that I took. 
I just keep looking for a way down. Ooh. I think I just about managed to avoid them. Maybe you need to run quite away from them to properly distract them for long enough, but anyway, found the way down, so that's fine. So we're about to get mobbed again, and uh, holy crap, I need I need a Riz Platter. Only thing for it, get that combat skill up, and uh, get my health and energy back. Okay, so that dropped the way down, so that's nice. I'm just going to kill this thing. 10 damage, that's okay. I can take that. Those flying things aren't too hard to kill, to be fair, so I'm, I don't mind them too much. Screw it. Wait, oh, no, I don't want to go down. There's gold ore there. I might as well get the gold ore. Holy crap. This is, this is rough. Okay, so next episode, I think what I need to do is go for the galaxy sword, which I know you can get from the desert, and I know I can get it myself. I think that would be worth doing. Still not seeing any iridium. Oh, it's one of these floors again. That, I think, is just iron ore. It just looks really weird not being on a snowy floor. I still have most of the day left. So that's okay. Although I am burning through my food extremely quickly. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, there's the way down. Perfect. Can I get some iridium ore? That was my goal for the day, just to get 5 Iridium ore, but right now it looks like it'll be a bit of a struggle to get even that much. Let's see if we can find a way down. A lot of these bugs about. But they're not too much of a threat. They just go back and forth like the ones in the normal mine, so that's fine. A bit more normal ore here. Yeah, it looks like Iridium ore is still going to be a struggle even with the Skull Caverns unlocked. Take the coal. Coming here with bombs would be useful. Definitely. I could craft them. Maybe I can craft them now? I think you just need ore for that. Coal as well. Mega bomb needs solar essence and void essence, but could make normal bombs. I think it's fine though, I think we're fine just mining. I need to level up my mining skill anyway, so... Might as well just do things the normal way for now. Okay, so we're probably not going to be coming away with an Iridium bar, but we should be coming away with a few ordinary bars, which is still useful. There we go. An Earth Crystal, that's interesting. Uh, I think of all things though, that's definitely not something I'm going to have space for, so I'll ignore that for now. Uh, so there's the way down, perfect. That didn't take too long. Break this open. Uh, that looks like something we've had before, and I don't think that's a very good weapon, so I'm going to ignore it. As well, there's a lot of slimes on this floor. Oh man. I need to eat another Reese Platter, I think. Oh my god, that, that stupid fly thing was just sitting on me, just doing damage, I think. As, uh, they dropped a bomb, which is pretty useful. I can't kill them, what? <laughs> what? This is really hard. This is on another level. I'm damaging them. Wow, okay. I wonder if that's just because I'm too low combat level, or... I'm not sure. That's the way down. I think we want the bomb. This is, this is, uh, this is pretty intense. Uh, okay, so... Could eat one more root platter. Could eat the fried egg. Probably eat the fried eggs, I think. That's more useful. Just to clean up that free slot. time is it? It is... 9.20. Okay, so we've got about three hours left. I guess. Take that and move on. Oh, crap. Ah, it's taking a quarter, like about a third of my health, just like that. Still no iridium. There's a diamond there, so that's one good thing at least. I 
two diamonds. Okay, definitely going to be worth filling, uh, freeing a slot for that. Let's just drop this bomb here. Not the best place, actually. I guess I... Well, I guess it does uh, free up the way to the next floor, so that's fine. Let's kill this off. I think these purple ones can drop iridium more as well. I think that might be how I got that little bit already, but it's still pretty tough. Uh, wow! Wow! Not just iridium ore, an iridium bar. Perfect. Okay, that that completely makes up... Holy crap. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Nearly died before I picked up the iridium bar. Not good. Uh, roots platter. Let's see one more of these. Well, I can. God, this is hard. Alright. Um, what do I want to get rid of to make space for that? Maybe the apricots? Probably not, though. Maybe the cave carrots. I feel like, at this point, everything that I have is pretty useful. Emeralds. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat the cave carrots, I think. Just so I can make space for that iridium bar, which I have no doubt in my mind is definitely worth it. Wait, do I already... I already picked it up, did I? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense collecting cave carrots in the mines, but not so much here where things are just a bit too precious. Iridium bar, wow. That's so nice. Pick up these stones and move on. Uh, still not actually found an iridium ore vein. So they don't make things too easy for you. But yeah, killing these purple blobs is definitely worth it, just because... The slimes... Evidently sometimes drop some pretty strong loot. Eleven PM, I think we're gonna be heading out around half twelve. Because it's gonna take some time to get back to the bus. Yeah, some more iridium ore there. Oh, an iridium ore vein, perfect. So I could actually be coming away with two iridium uh two iridium bars in total from today's efforts. Which is perfect. Just realized before I did that that there was a chance that my ah oh, only one, that sucks. So I won't be coming away with... Oh, well, I will. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sounds like more of those annoying flying things are coming my way. Any way down? Perfect. More coal, too. Alright, I like this. This is going... Well... The damage... The damage taking bit isn't going so well, but, um... The loot. The loot is very nice, indeed. These things drop quite a lot of iridium ore, from what I can see. So maybe, maybe they're a better way to find. Uh... Wow. Okay. Look at all that potential loot. Maybe those things are a better way to find iridium ore when you're in the lower levels. Let's kill this. Ten damage. I can take that. Uh. Yeah. Let's eat that. One more. Don't know if I have time for doing this. I don't think I do, but... I can't resist all that loot. I've got to get through. Let's kill them. Wow, how have none of them damaged me yet? There we go. One of them did a little bit. Okay, so let's hope this is uh, worthwhile. Onward. Glow ring. Omni geode. I think I'll take the Omni Geode, but probably ignore the rest of that stuff. What the hell is that thing? Uh, man, my inventory is just filled to the brim with useful items. I don't know what I can get rid of. All right. Maybe the emeralds. Um, maybe the apricots. Anchovies, I think. I think it's kind of untenable at this point to hang on to those. I just want to see what this is. Spicy eel. One lock, one speed. Okay, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll eat those. We need the extra speed for getting back to the uh, getting back to the bus anyway. So, sure. Glow ring. Don't want that. Don't want the hardwood. Yeah, just take that. And I just realised we can't actually get back this way. Maybe we we go this way. Did the extra speed actually do anything? I don't know if we're going to make it back in time. Uh, maybe could go down that <laughs> could go down that ladder, but I can't resist these diamonds, and I think that might make it too late. Two more diamonds. It's worth it. That'll pay for any 
pay for any fine that we uh, that we might encounter. One thirty, yeah. There's no way we're getting back. Actually, it depends if this counts as passing time or not. Return to Stardew Valley, yes. All right, so one forty a.m. Uh, if this is instant, we might have just enough time. You can hear me running, just... Your loyal horse waits patiently for your return. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I guess it should have said that earlier. Let me... Oh, crap, didn't make it. There's another diamond waiting there as well, so that's all the better. So yeah, I'm going to be having two Iridium ores coming in. Uh, I'm not surprised I've leveled up in combat. That seems well overdue. No level up in mining, though, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be going back to the desert pretty much as soon as possible, because that, uh, that was really good. It's particularly if we can unlock the Galaxy Sword, which I think I know how to do. And that should enable us to do a little bit better in terms of combat performance. Won't, ha won't save us when we actually get hit, because those things do loads of damage, but hopefully it'll speed up our ability to actually kill the things off before they can do too much damage. 1,000 gold coming in, that should cover any fine. And we got a lot of good loot to sell as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, I will see you next time when we will be once again going to the Coleco Desert, and hopefully making some more progress with that stuff. So yeah, see you then guys.